When the counterfeit newspaper caper was followed closely by the Lend-Lease library lock, the hunter's paperwork piled up tremendously. Unquestionably, the hunter needed help. New York Rhymes, all the news that's fit to use. Can I help you? Ma'am, this, I say this is the hunter. I need some office help. Wanted? No, I want a secretary, a private secretary. See, I'm a private eye. Male or female? That's an insult, ma'am. I'm a red-blooded son of the South. I meant the secretary. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Why, of course. Yeah. Well, I'd say a female, one of them uh, Maryland macaroni types from southern Italy, of course. <laughs> yeah. We'll run your ad right away. I uh, saw your ad in the paper. Well, now, that's fast work. Uh, what's your name, little lady? Franny Fox. I'm a private, private secretary. I see. Sort of a first-class private? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a joke, ma'am. I say, uh... uh these <laughs> are my references. <clears throat> oh, yes, yeah. Well, no need for references. I can see you've got a, an honest face. <laughs> now, as you can tell, there's a lot of cleaning up the office needs. I'll just step down to the corner for a bite of lunch while, uh, you go to work. What's the cotton bloom and weather coming to? Snow in June? And I say, look at the size of those flakes. Biggest I ever saw. Snowflakes? That's a shame. I say, no wonder they don't let it snow in Dixie. Uh, hold on here, ma'am. I said to clean up, not clean out the office. We were robbed. Robbed, you say? Well, now, that's a mean trick, ma'am. How'd they get away with the loot? Over here. They carried the furniture along this ledge and out onto the roof. Well, have no fear. The hunter's on the job. I'll just mosey out on this ledge and I'll see what... Hey, the sledge is lipping. I mean, the lodge is slopping. Help! Help! Uh, take a letter to Officer Flynn Flanagan. Dear Flynn, according to my precise calculations, my office furniture has been stolen. I hope, I say, I hope you can get a clue on the case. In the meantime, I've taken care of that million-dollar payroll. The armored truck will turn the corner of Broadway and 42nd Street at precisely 3 o'clock. I alone know the time and place, and I am the hunter. Mm, must have blown the old horn a little hard there. I say, ma'am, where are you? Uh, where are you? The cotton blooming world. Oh, oh, there you are, ma'am. Yeah, you had the old hunter worried about your pretty head. I thought you wanted your letter to get to Officer Flanagan fast, so uh, I delivered it in person. Good girl. Now, uh, now, this is the hunter. Have nose, will hunt. What's that? Oh, Flim Flanagan's on his way over. You say I'm in trouble. Now, see here, son. I am the carpetbaggers. Hmm. Surrounded by incompetence. Ah, Hunter, this time you're in trouble. Only you knew about that armored car, and now it's been stolen. Ah, oh, how could you? Aha! I might have known it. Ah, the fox and the cash. And me thinking you'd gone bad. Oh, now, how can we ever make it up to you, Hunter? Well, now, son, a little office furniture would help. You see, somebody took it out the window, and I was down there on the ledge. What happened, and I officer? Ah, oh, it's simple, me boy. Just another case solved by the world's greatest private eye. Who is that man with a silver horn? Ah, uh, that, me boy, is the hunter. Oh!